What's up guys, it's Zed. In this video, I put Arsenal in an ultimate league where I'm going to test how many seasons it's going to take them to get to the top of this league and dominate every single team that is present in this league. And like I said, ultimate league, we're not in the Premier League, we're actually in the MLS. And no, we're not going up against MLS teams that will actually defeat the purpose of it being an ultimate league. All right, here's the twist. We're going up against all the best teams in Europe. I think the MLS has 27 teams, at least in the game. I'm not sure if they have 27 teams in real life. I think it should be more. So we're going up against 26 of the best teams, us being the 27th team the goal of this video is to be able to build an arsenal team that is able to win all the trophies available in the mls league i think that's the mls itself and then the us open cup i think that's what it's called we're going to be going up against teams like monaco alesco madrid borussia dortmund chelsea barcelona bayern to name a few i'm pretty sure a team like bayern psg or real madrid will be able to win this league in just like one or two seasons so i want to start this series hopefully i can turn it into a series i want to start it off with a team that i know is not going to be able to get to the top in just one or two seasons it's probably going to take like four or five seasons for arsenal to be able able to get all the trophies unless I actually plan this thing very well and try to get it in at least three seasons so before we get into the video make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already I also want to say a big thank you to you guys for helping me reach 2,000 subs so you know hit that red button and 5,000 subscribers is the next goal it's also now ready to shine in the MLS I mean who really knows oh I forgot I should also say that there's actually no transfers I turn off the transfers in the first season so that I'm just going to be able to sim through the first season and see how exactly Arsenal is going to do in this league without me intervening or anything like that. So we were told to reach the semi-finals of the playoff this season and within two seasons reach the playoff finals. I don't know if that is possible with this current Arsenal team against all the teams that we have in this in this league. Before I show you the starting eleven, I'm going to be starting with this season. Let's look at all the teams that are present in this league. So we have Monaco, Ajax, Arsenal, Leverkusen, Dortmund, Chelsea, Liverpool, Manchester City, Manchester United. Leon, Olympic Marseille, um, PSG, Leipzig, and Spurs. And then in the Western Conference, we have Al Nasser. I, I, I just put them there because Ronaldo, Ronaldo is in the team. And then Let's Go Madrid, Bayern Munich, Benfica, Barcelona, um, Inter Milan, AC Milan, Napoli, Juventus, Real Madrid, Roma, Sporting Lisbon, and Villarreal. Those are the 27 teams that are going to be present in this league. As for the starting 11, we have Martinelli, Gabriel Jesus, Saka as the front three, then Odegaard, Xhaka, and Thomas Partey in the middle. Then we have Zinchenko on the left, Gabriel and Saliba as the centre back duo, and then Ben White on the right. It's basically the Arsenal starting eleven that I'm going to be using for this. So let's see how exactly this team is going to be able to fare in this league at the end of the season. All right, so we have gotten to the end of the regular season for the first season, and I have to say, Arsenal actually really shocked me because I actually watched the simulation of the entire season off camera. And it was crazy how many matches we were winning, to be honest. I really can't believe that we actually did this good. But I haven't checked where we ended up on the table yet because we, we lost a couple matches. I don't think we won it. I don't think we won the, the, the regular season. But like, I mean, let's just take a look at the team first. So we have Martinelli in 81 on, eight, on an 81 overall. And Smith Rowe has currently overtaken him. So I'm going to be putting Smith Rowe in the left winger position most arsenal fans might not want it this way but i mean i'm just putting out the best team i can in the starting level so i also put Jorginho, and then zinchenko should be replaced by tierney and then i think tomiyasu should replace ben white as well and then ben white replaces holding in whoops he replaces holding in the center back position i actually did a development schedule for him to turn into a right back but i mean what we're going to wait till then. I actually cannot believe that Arsenal actually placed second in this league. This is actually really, really annoyingly close to real life because I'm an Arsenal fan, and this is exactly how I do not want the season to end. And look at it. But anyways, I actually can't believe PSG did this bad. They actually ended up in tenth position. Below PSG is pretty much expected that these teams would do that well rather that bad western league real madrid actually came first barcelona came second juventus came third and let's go madrid napoli inter milan and um yeah of course al nasser came last too bad for ronaldo to be honest but i really didn't expect that team to go anywhere in this league then for the playoffs round one we have let's go madrid versus napoli spurs versus chelsea juventus versus inter milan barcelona versus milan um liverpool versus Leipzig and then Arsenal versus Manchester United. That's the match that we are going to be playing. I just remember the board actually wanted us to get to the semi finals of the playoff. I mean, we beat Manchester United, they also beat us. Let's just hope that we're going to be able to beat them in the playoff. So I'm going to be saving these matches 
with the teams I pick and we have actually gone to the next round or I actually don't know if that's how it works if there's a second leg or not but we have won we have beaten Manchester United 3-1 next up we're going up against Liverpool but this one is going to be at Anfield so this is going to be one hell of a tough test and funny enough we do win the match I'm actually really really shocked that Arsenal is actually doing this good which means that we might actually be able to get this thing in two seasons I swear to god if we get this shit in the first season I'm going to go crazy so we actually made it to the conference final and we're going to be going up against Manchester City because the two teams that actually won both both conferences actually jump all the way to the conference finals and then the winners of these conference finals now actually play the MLS finals I'm just explaining this for those of you who don't actually understand how the MLS works it's actually kind of like NBA but football so this one is going to be a big match if we actually win this thing it's going to be crazy that will be one more step to getting the trophy and that will be weird that I just end the video like that just like that it's going to be so fucking weird if that happens but I really really doubt that we're going to win this thing and that is the end of Arsenal's wonderful run Kyle Walker has sealed our defeat in the 77th minutes of the conference finals so that actually actually sucks to be honest i'm actually not bothered that we lost that match because for arsenal to actually get all the way to the conference finals that is one hell of an upset manchester city actually went on ahead and won the whole thing as for the player stats gabriel jesus leads the line with 16 goals and four assists martin odegaard got seven goals eight assists bukari saka got six and zero Jorginho with five and four and then the fifth player is Emil Smith Rowe with 5 and 4 as well. As for the entire MLS, we have Benzema and Salah leading the line with 21 goals each. That means they are sharing the golden boots. And then for some weird reason, bloody Chiro Immobile wins the Ballon d'Or. Like how the fuck does that happen? My two main transfer targets for this second season are Ruben Neves and Jeremy Frimpong. The reason why I'm getting Ruben Neves is because I want to sell Xhaka. No offense to Arsenal fans, but I just really feel like He's getting old and for me to be able to win this thing, I want to have like a deep squad with actual good players. The reason why I'm getting Jeremy Frimpong is because I want, I mean there is Ben White and then, I'm, I mean there's Tomiyasu and Tomiyasu is basically the only right back in the team as of this point. And because I am like simulating through the season, it's only him that's going to be playing instead of Ben White. And I just want a backup right back that can actually help us just in case Tomiyasu gets tired or something like that. Alright, his current value is 22.5 but I'm going to drop a 25 million pound sum and let's see if they're going to be able to, to take that. Alright, so they won Zinchenko. I actually would not mind doing that i mean zinchenko is actually a really really good player in our team in real life but in the game especially in fifa 22 he's not really going to get a lot of playing time especially because portieni is there and he just goes a lot faster than zinchenko so i think i'm going to accept this but i'm going to drop the amount a little tiny bit and make this a round figure so let's see what they will say zinchenko plus 12 million and they they do accept it. Alright, so if you want a 4.7 thousand pound wage, I'm just going to remove the bonus and then increase the wage to maybe 10 because I really don't know why you're okay with just 4,000 pounds a week. I don't know why I'm doing that and I just want to like make zero figure because I just really don't like those figures the way it is. Alright, so 50 and 10, rotation 3 years and alright, so he is good with that. Next up, we approach the Wolves manager and Ruben Neves is actually supposed to go for 75 but I feel like we might actually do something here. Alright, 102.9. Alright, let's see if we can drop this down to 100. They actually don't want to, to deviate from 102.9. Round figure 110. Alright, so we have a deal. 110 million pounds for Ruben Neves. I don't really think that's going to happen in real life, but I mean, the guy just wasn't budging. Alright, so he wants a crucial squad role, and I gave him four years and no release clause. Let's give him, he was getting 110 before, so let's give him 120. Let's see if he's going to be able to be happy with that. Yes, he is. Not a lot of changes in the starting level for the second season, but we have Smith Rowe, Jorginho, Ruben Neves, Tomiyasu are the only changes to the starting level from last season. We have just gotten to the end of season 2 and I have to say this was a really topsy-turvy kind of season. I mean it wasn't, from what I saw, it wasn't as good as last season but let's just look at where we placed. Hopefully we're actually in the playoffs and we barely made it this time. We are 6th position out of the 7 teams that made it into the playoffs. And then for the Western Conference we have Bayern, PSG, Borussia Dortmund, Ajax, Sporting, Lisbon, Manchester United and Olympic Marseille. There's actually a lot of 
Yeah, I'll not say came in last yet again. Going up against Chelsea in your round one of the playoffs. Spurs going up against Atletico Madrid, Dortmund versus Manchester United, Manchester City versus Inter Milan, Ajax versus Sporting Lisbon, and PSG going up against Olympic Marseille. I honestly really can't remember if we actually faced Chelsea in the playoffs last season, but that's not important. Let's just hope that we are able to get this one right. And we do. We win the match 3 1 thanks to Jorginho, Tomiyasu, and Smith Rowe. We are in the conference semi finals and we are going up against Manchester City, the team that beat us in the conference finals last season. And then Borussia Dortmund and PSG are yet to play theirs as well. And I also forgot to talk about it. The reason why Ben White is playing in that position ahead of Gabriel is because Gabriel is no longer in our team. Um, he requested to join the transfer window. I don't know why because we had a really, really good season last season and he just didn't want to, to be in the team anymore. I don't know, maybe he had a big head or something like that. I was thinking he was destined for great things. I don't know what team bought him. I really can't care to remember. Well, let's hope that we are able to defeat this Manchester side and get our revenge from last season. And we just barely make it thanks to Gabriel Jesus, Paul Tierney and Smith Rowe. Smith Rowe scoring twice in the in the playoffs already. And we are through to the finals, to the conference finals. In the conference finals, we are going up against Atletico Madrid while PSG is going up against Bayern. That's going to be one hell of a tough match. If we win this match, we are going to be through to the finals of the MLS for the first time. And I really hope that we are going to be able to do that. And no, we don't. We are out of the fucking playoffs for the second season in a row in the exact same position. That's sad. Koke is the one that destroyed us, scoring in the first and 82nd minutes. I guess we have to try again next season. Before we get to the next season, let's look at the stats for the team. Martinelli actually got 13 goals and one assist. He's the highest for this season in goals. Then followed by Bukayo Saka with 11 and of course, and again, no assists. I wonder why he's not getting any assists at all. Then Gabriel Jesus getting 9 goals and 3 assists. Ruben Neves getting 4 goals and 1 assist. And Jorginho with 4 and 4. As for the entire MLS, we have Son and Fatih leading the lines and getting the golden boots as well. So for the second season in a row, two people actually get the golden boots. <laughs> we are at the end of the third season and this is what the team looks like right now. We were able to get Josko Vardio and Karimadi Yemi into the team. He's more of a rotational player than an actual first team player. This time we finished fourth, which is higher than what we did last season. and then. PSG, Chelsea, Manchester City, Atletico Madrid, Real Madrid and Liverpool are the other teams who made it into the playoffs. And then for the Western Conference, we have Manchester United, Leipzig, Le Olympic Lyon, Villarreal, Leverkusen, Roma, Milan and Napoli. That, this group is actually, actually doesn't really have a lot of crazy teams. This is actually a way tougher league to play in. And I think Al Nasser came in last yet again. So round one of the playoffs, we are going up against Manchester City. This is going to be the third time in a row that we are facing them. In the playoffs i really hope that we can get the win over them this time around we already beat them last season though but it would be really nice to not lose to them right now i would defeat them in the playoffs yet again courtesy of Jorginho. he actually scored a brace to actually get to the win we actually went all the way to extra time Haaland missed the penalty that is really really good for us next up we have liverpool in the conference semi-finals are we going to be able to get one over them i'm not sure if we faced them last season in the playoffs i can really i really can't remember if we did and away from home we actually do get the win thanks to saka Jorginho and Odegaard. Jorginho is actually doing really, really well in these playoffs. And for the third time in a row, we are getting to the conference finals, this time against Real Madrid, while Olympic Lyon face off against Manchester United. Are we going to be able to get the win against Real Madrid? No, we don't. And for the third time in a row as well, we are losing out in the conference finals. I really hope next season is the one where we finally get to the finals and possibly win it. Before we get to season four, let's look at the start of the players this evening. Gabriel Jesus scored 12 goals and 3 assists. Martinelli got 11 goals and 2 assists. Jorginho got 9 goals and 4 assists. Bukayo Saka got 7 goals and 6 assists. And Nketiah, I really don't know where he came from, but he did get 6 goals and no assists. That is good for him. Then overall, we have Marcos Cunha with 26 goals. This is the first time that only one player is getting the golden boots. And none of my Arsenal players are actually in this final where we have Gabriel Jesus with 12 goals. So we actually need a goal scorer to be able to get something. Maybe next season we're going to get someone who can actually do that for us. All right, from what I saw in this season, we actually deserve to win this thing. We brought in Rodrigo from Real Madrid and then Bayern Gravenberg from Bayern. And we actually did really well. They turned out to be really, really good signings. And let's see how well we did exactly. We actually came out on top for the first time. We actually are first. Chelsea came second. Manchester City came third. PSG came fourth. Fifth is Barcelona. Sixth is Liverpool. And seventh is Juventus. I really don't understand why 
the league is this tough. I'm going to say Anasa came last again, obviously. And their, the Western Conference is actually so much, so much easier than ours. And Spurs actually took advantage of that and came out on top. But we actually did really well to be able to get first position in this league. That is actually crazy. I mean, look at all these teams that are in here. We actually still go up first position. Because of being first, we jump straight into the conference semi-final round and playing this round one. And we're going to be playing PSG. Manchester City is going to be playing Chelsea. Borussia Dortmund is going to be playing Benfica. And Spurs is going to be going up against Ajax. So, Karisaka and Odegaard are already over 90. So, they're basically the two people that are carrying this team right now. Maybe not carrying, per se, but like they're they are the best players of the team right now. So, let's see if we're going to be able to defeat PSG. And yes, we do. We actually win on penalties 5 4. The match was 3 3. Courtesy of William Saliba, Paul Tierney, or did I just say Paul Tierney? Sorry, Kieran Tierney and Rodrigo. He has actually been a really good signing for us this season. I swear to God, for some reason, this Manchester City team loves us so much. This is the fourth time in a row that we're facing them. This time it's going to be in the conference finals. This is the second time we're facing them in the conference finals. And then we have Benfica and Ajax playing the other conference finals. And I swear to God, if we win Manchester City in this, there is no way we're going to be losing the finals. So now it's getting really tense. I am playing. Martinelli over Rodrigo because he basically came to me and begged, begged my fucking life that he wants to play in this match. Jorginho seems like he's, he might be a better option than Gravenberch, although Gravenberch is actually more well-rounded than Jorginho right now. But I will play Jorginho in this match just because he's highly rated. I want all the all the gods to be on my side right now. So let's see if we're going to be able to win this match against Manchester City. And we get the win over them for the third time in a row. Martinelli. Gravin Birch and Martinelli. So my faith in Martinelli actually pays off. He gets the brace and then who scores from Manchester City? Bernardo Silva. So this has been a really, really good rivalry between us and Manchester City. And I'm really, I'm really guessing that this is the end because we are definitely going to be winning the conference finals. Finally, we are in the MLS finals on 8th December 2024. If this was FIFA 23, I was playing that would be 8th December. 2025 boys you know this is for 22 and again it really doesn't matter because i'm not playing any matches i'm just simulating but that isn't what is important right now this is the important thing this match against sl benfica let's hope that we're going to win this i want to put my best team out there which means i'm going to have to replace gravin birch in this match as well i put Jorginho in there so hopefully he comes in as a sub later on now, this is the final, the MLS final, what we've all been waiting for. It took us four seasons to get here with Arsenal. It has been a long, well, more short because I've been simulating and stuff like that. But you get what I mean. It has been a long journey and this might finally be the end. My fingers are crossed for us winning this match. So I'm going to press the, the button and let's hope that we get the win. And we do, and Saka gets a fucking hat trick in this match, scoring the 10th, 55th, and the 84th minute. So that is the end of this. We have defeated SL Benfica to win the MLS Trophy, MLS Cup. I have no idea what it's called. The MLS Finals. Let's take a look at what it's called real quick. The MLS Finals. That's what it's called. So we have won this trophy after four years. And to be honest, I'm really, really happy that we're able to do this. Before I close the video, let's take a look at the player stats. We have Gabriel Jesus with 21 goals and 4 assists. That's the highest that any of us, any of our players have ever scored. Then we have Bukari Saka with 13 goals and 5 assists. Martinelli with 12 goals and 3 assists. Kiaratini actually has more goals than Rodrigo, which is kind of weird. But he got 6 and 1 assist. But Rodrigo gets 5 goals and 0 assists. That's the top 5 for this season. And overall, Gabriel Jesus was just shy of getting the goal. He was losing out to his countryman Neymar who got 23 this has been a wild ride but this right here is what's important winners of the MLS and I really wish that the US Open Cup was the part of this I actually don't know why it's not part so anyways thank you guys for watching if you guys have enjoyed the video so far make sure to hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't already put down in the comment section what team you'd like to see me do next and once again thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video peace